Hi, meteorologist Chris Haddings here again. And we continue our countdown to the top weather events of the uh, calendar year 2014. And uh, we're heading pretty far up the list now. We're up to uh, number five right now. And this one is another severe weather event. This happens to be the uh, Detroit County severe weather that occurred on both uh, July 15th and the 16th. Actually, three separate storms that affected the area. We'll cover each one individually. Uh, the first one actually came through at around, say, 6 o'clock. And the main threat with this was uh, hail. You can see uh, some pretty good-sized hail falling there, especially on the uh, east side of Casper as well as Evansville. You can see hail there up to the size of ping-pong balls, maybe some up to the size of golf balls that fell through that area. And uh, the second storm then came through probably around 7.30. And uh, this one was more of a wind and uh, rain threat, as you can see. Um, a lot of pictures of what we call a shelf cloud with that. It's a good picture by Eric Heyer there. And it occurs with a strong winds that come out ahead of a stronger severe thunderstorm. What happens basically is you get some cold air that drops down out of the cloud and it moves out in front of the storm and it pushes the cloud out in front. That's how you get that shelf cloud effect. This is coming from Wyoming Medical Center. And probably the best picture that we got of was by Kathy Reddington Baker here. And a lot of times you'll hear storm chasers call it the uh, mothership because it does look like maybe a coming down of a UFO. You can almost hear the uh, close encounters of the third kind music in the background there. And then finally, uh, we had the uh, third storm. This came the next day. It was actually a funnel cloud that was west of Casper. A lot of people sending good pictures of it. It's this one from Brian Wagner. And you may say, usually after you get a storm that day, the atmosphere stabilizes a little bit. Why do we get that? Well, a couple of reasons. Well, there wasn't as much instability in the air. The storms the previous day took some of that away. But we still had this uh, trough over the area that helped uh, lower the heights, basically how much uh, pressure there is in the atmosphere, so we were able to get thunderstorms to build up a little bit more. And also, as we take a look at the skew, you basically a plot of uh, temperature, wind, and uh, moisture as you go through the atmosphere. I want you to take a look at this area right in there. See how the winds are kind of turning with height? That's what meteorologists call wind shear. It basically helps get the atmosphere spinning. And getting the thunderstorms spinning, that helps produce uh, rotating thunderstorms as well as funnel clouds. And one more good look at the funnel there. This one from uh, Crystal Meyer under the Trona County uh, Fire Academy. Get a lot of good pictures from this. And that's uh, number five uh, for the area. We'll have uh, number four coming up next. Have any questions, call us here. You can find forecasts anytime at weather.gov slash Riverton.